taking pictures of people leaving our parking lot? I'm just taking pictures of anything I see in public. Your rules don't apply to me on that property. Uh, yeah, we're just calling the police to find out if, if everything... That's fine, they just drove by. Do I have to give ID? I'd like to see it if you don't yeah. mind. Well, that's the only one you're gonna get, buddy. Okay. Yeah, so, that was a good try. So... Hey, you should probably wash your cars, man. They're a little dirty. What's going on, everyone? This is Preston H. Now, over here today in Peterborough, New Hampshire, back at it again. We're gonna be conducting a First Amendment audit to see if they respect our rights to film here in public. We're at the New Hampshire Ball Bearings in Corp. It's a government contracted facility uh, for aerospace and defense. Um, they do a lot of, uh, obviously they do ball bearings for um, airplanes and uh, other such products. So we're going to get right to it here guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel at Press NH Now. I appreciate all the support. Also check out my playlist to see some videos you might not have seen in the past. Hit that like, let your friends and family know about my activism in and around New Hampshire and the surrounding states of New England. Enjoy the video. Today's date is June 18th, 2021. So there is a uh, no trespassing sign. Uh, cameras are in use. So we won't be going on to the property. New Hampshire ball bearings. If you guys think that um, I need to come out to a certain place in or around your town or city or state in New England, uh, please hit on my email, let me know. Um, usually it's only government or uh, public facilities that I conduct my business on in uh, regards to. So hit on my email, it's accountabilityforall15 at yahoo. I'll put the link in the description. It's also on my about section of my page in my channel. There you go guys on that one. Put a mouth on her. How you doing? <laughs> no. I'm just taking pictures of anything I see in public, man. Just anything I see. Well, they don't allow people to take pictures of our facility, so... Well, I'm on public property. Your rules don't apply to me on that property. We'll Alright. What's your name? Can't hear you. Well, I asked you first. I mean, it works both ways, you know what I mean? Bill. Bill? Are you the security or manager? You just worked there? What's your name? Not gonna give that information, man. Oh, so it doesn't work both ways. Right. Works my way. My rules on public property, buddy. License plate 236366. Three, six.
I think. Two, three, five, three, six, six. So that's Bill. Meet Bill, everybody. Peterborough police actually just drove by as this guy pulled over. I don't know if I got a shot of that in the camera, but it uh, looks like he's on the phone now. He wants to be a superhero. So. Yeah, we got another one coming over here. Superhero number two. Who knows? How you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm all right. Uh, I'm. I'm not. I really don't want to answer any questions, man. You don't have to answer. I'm not here to bother anybody. I'm just so. Letting you know who my what my name is. Okay. Who I am. Yeah. My name's Mike Sykeny. I'm an HR. Okay. And uh, yeah, we're just calling the police to find out if if everything. That's yeah, fine. They just drove by. That's fine. Yeah. If they drove by, wouldn't that tell you something? Uh, no, you know no, I mean? it doesn't. It doesn't? No, I want to talk to them. Yeah, uh, there's no crime being committed, so. I didn't there's really... there was. No, I know. I'm just saying there's no business of them coming. It's wasting resources, man. Yep. I'm yep. just a journalist, so. Okay. Do you have security here, or, or are you secure? You, you said you're HR, right? Yeah, and okay. we do, but uh, that's... Well, I just figured they would do their job and approach me first. I am HR. That's security? No, I'm HR. Okay. All right. Uh, I got called. Yeah. Someone and I said, well, let me walk. Down. Yeah, people feel a little uncomfortable. Yeah, well, of course. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's I'm on public property, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah like I said, there's nothing I can do about it, so I no. don't think, but I'm yeah. going to call and find yeah. out. Yeah, I'm not going to come you on the what I'm I doing. saw the sign over there for the trespassing, so yeah. you know, you came at me respectfully. Yeah. So, you know, I'll give you the same respect back. Um, it, wor it does work both ways. I saw your sign over there already, and I know it's private property, so. Yeah. No issues. All right, thank you much. Yeah, have a going. All right, guys, so the police are on their way. Um, like I said, they actually already, there you go. That's all you gotta do is wave, you know? So we're gonna wait for the police and uh, see what they have to say. All right, guys, here they come. Put his lights on, go right into the easement, nice. Good start already, gentlemen. The much, man. Hey, I appreciate you parking on the side of the road instead of the middle. Yeah, I don't want to block traffic. You'd be surprised, man, you know? You know, some uh, people. Yeah. But, uh, so, what's going on? I'd probably go talk to them, see their side, man, and come back to me, and I'll answer some questions, possibly. But I'm just out here filming. That's really it. You're just out here filming. That's it, buddy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Can I get your name, badge number? Yeah, uh, Officer Stone. Stone? And 95. What is it? 95. 95. Thank you, Stone. All right, so we got Officer Stone here. Seems uh, okay for now. You just got ID on you, man? No, that's not gonna happen today, buddy. I can't even get your name or the date of birth at all? Yeah, let me uh... You still on that skater response? Am I being detained? No, I'm just asking. All right, just do I have to give ID? I'd like to see it, if you yeah. don't mind. Well, that's the only one you're gonna get, buddy. Okay. Yeah, so, that was a good try. 
So, there you go, guys. The infamous old ID trick. He said he'd like to have it. The uh, property line is literally right after that fire hydrant, uh, but I'm not going to push the boundaries here. Education guys, for the uh, general public, police department, and uh, government contractor facilities on uh, our rights and that's what this is all about a lot of the times they want the ID for their reports um, and for any possible future incidents regarding something like this go take a look at his, uh, his vehicle Car number three, needs a car wash, I'll tell you that, pretty dirty. Looks like he's on the phone now. And uh, they really can't give me a trespass warning. I mean, they could say whatever they want. It really doesn't mean anything because I haven't been on the property. But the warning is already stated over there with the um, no trespassing sign, which is right behind the officer there. girls are waving and that's just how it should go man nice it's a nice Audi sweet you let him know I'm all right being out here yeah, so I uh, I talked to them. I was just wondering, like, are you just recording just... Just working on a story, man. Just working on a story? That's it. What's the story about? If you don't mind me asking. Whatever, whatever comes out of the camera. You know what I mean? That's it. That's how stories work, you know? Okay. So now the story is about the cops being called and so forth and so on, you know? So, that's it. Did he, did he used to work here at all? I'm not going to answer that question. You're not going to answer that no. question? No. Are you going to answer any... Complaints? It depends. I mean, you're not going to investigate me here and... and think I'm gonna answer questions like that man. Well I'm just trying to figure out like I'm just on public property recording anything I see man. That's really that's it. Okay. So Okay, yeah, you're just the, some of the employees here are getting a little disgruntled. Yeah, as long as you tell him and they tell them the word gets around saying, hey look, we're allowed to be out here and film and their their feelings don't really matter at that point. You know what I mean? It's my right to be out here so Okay. And I appreciate you respecting that. Okay. So I saw the sign over there not to go on the property. I haven't been on the property, so yep. I, I know the rules, the laws, man. That's it. Okay. All right. So I'll try to pull the report for this.
So Officer Stone isn't too bad. I, uh, as of yet, you know, pretty much told him I know the laws, I know my rights, I know the rules. And uh, there's a sign over there. That's just to stop them from trying to give me directives. That's unnecessary. I'm tired of hearing them, I'll tell you the truth. So I figured I'd cut them off on them. But uh, yeah, guys, remember your rights, you know? You don't have to identify until you're lawfully arrested. Unless you're driving, obviously. But, um, you know, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. You don't have to answer any questions, especially if they're uh, investigative questioning. Because at that point, it's not really a cultural conversation. You know, asking if I'm a former employee, a disgruntled former employee, you know. That's for future reference type of deals, you know. You know where they're going with that. So. Got a sergeant here, car number two. Hey, Sarge. What's going on? How you doing? Uh, you know, just doing, man. Call it the Sarge. Why is that? Usually they call the Sarge because they don't know what the next step here is. Either that or they try to escalate the situation. So we're all gonna learn here today. And we'll see how this uh, transpires. Cars are filthy. Wow. Both of them. Yeah, I don't think they uh, do proper upkeep of the, uh, of the vehicles in Peterborough. Look at that beauty. Hey, Sarge? Yeah, go ahead. He's on the phone. I want to get his name and badge number, obviously. A lot of walking back, man. Good exercise, I guess. Are you trying to identify me? You trying to identify me? Come on, man. I'm my first rodeo, dude. Okay. I got nothing to hide. It's just I don't have to give an identification. You know what I mean? It's just my right. That's all. Is he still on the phone? 
Is he on the phone? Oh, because I was just trying to ask him a question, that's all. I don't want to interrupt him. It's fine. Can I get your name, badge number? Hi. Can I get your name, badge number? Yeah. Yep. You guys have body cams? Nope. All right. Oh, there goes the boot looking. Oh, he's shrugging his shoulders. Let's go take a look at the sergeant's car. Filthy, guys, filthy. Got some rounds on his vest there. Computer's blacked out. Good for the Sarge. Privacy. I don't think the Sarge wants really much to do with me, which is fine. Look at that, professional. I didn't even have to ask. Here you go. Appreciate Thanks. it, Sarge. Can you just state your name for the record? Nope, I can just. You don't want to state your name? Have a nice day. You too, man. Appreciate you guys. Hey, you should probably wash your cars, man. They're a little dirty. All right. And there you go. Damn, how'd that work out? So that's uh, Sergeant Vin Bogus. <laughs> What's up with these names lately, guys? Uh, fairly professional, didn't really have much to say to me. He let his um, patrol officer handle most of the um, incidents here. And uh, they were pretty professional, I have to say. It's what I want to see out here. So if you guys want to let them know, I'll put the uh, information um, in the description. Always check that description, guys. Uh, all links are included. Peterborough, not too bad. And um, there they go. Just how it should be. And a lot of these uh, departments in and around New England, um, especially New Hampshire, can learn a thing or two uh, from these type of departments in these audits. So kudos to the Peterborough uh, Police Department in New Hampshire. Uh, if you want to let them know how professional or unprofessional you think they are, um, all the links are in the description, guys. What now? Is the Sarge. So I'll stick around here for a little bit longer and uh, we'll see what happens. I'm not gonna let them bully me out. Police did uh, pretty fine, pretty good. But uh, not so much for New Hampshire ball bearings. Anything to get out of the office today, guys. You let everybody know I'm allowed to be out here? What? Well, just because they feel uncomfortable doesn't mean that the police have to come. No, my kid's not uncomfortable. Your kid? I was talking to my kid. No, no, I'm, I'm talking about your employees. Their, their feelings shouldn't get involved with the law. That's all.
All right, everyone, that's going to conclude our visit here today at New Hampshire Ball Bearing over in Peterborough, New Hampshire. I appreciate everybody watching. Please go like, share, and subscribe to my channel at Press NH Now. I appreciate all the support. Also, go check out my playlist to see some videos you might not have seen in the past. Hit that like button. Let your friends and family know about my activism in and around the New England area. Wasn't too bad here. And uh, Peterborough Police, for the most part, respected my rights and uh, went on their way. So I appreciate it again, guys. Until the next one, Preston H. Now, over and out.